Evening everybody, hope you're all okay. Just sort of do a quick live um, just before Andrew does his. The wife's just gone out to the cinema with the stepdaughters. So that's me and my son and he's on the Xbox. And uh, I've got to finish cleaning the kitchen in a bit. So I thought I'd come on and say hello. Hi Paul, how you doing mate? Hope you're okay. Getting there with the old backdrop. Let's turn that light down a little bit. Let's turn that light down a little bit so it looks a bit. That's all right. Hi right, Chris, how you doing? Hi right, Cherry, hope you're all good. I just thought I'd come on and say hello. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Getting there. Doing this all up for the for the Halloween thing. So I keep adding more stuff to it. So hi Kath. Yeah, I keep adding more stuff to it. So it um yeah, it should all be good. I've got a massive snake up there now as well. You can't see it because my little numbers there. Ah, evening Ricky. How you doing, mate? Thanks for a shout out on your thing last night on your live. I've just been doing a bit of decorating in there's a massive snake. You can't see his head though, because the number of the number of people was in the way of his head. You might be able to see it. Um big old snakey. Okay, too, just been watching vids on trapping rats and mice. Nice. Have you got a vermin problem? Oh, I have look, look at all the spiders I've got in here making all these webs. A little zombie boy, look. Zombie boy, snake, Freddy Krueger glove, all the other bits. How you doing, Chris? Yeah, just been watching vids on trapping rats and mice. Nice, nice. Hi, Tam and Belle, hope you're good. Oh, hang on, I've just gone off on something else. I don't know what I'm doing there. Um... Christine Chop Chop having a snake. Go having a snake up until you forget you put it there. Yeah, I'm alright with snakes. Hi Mandy, hope you're good. Hi Mark, Mark, the man I needed. Mark, I've had your parcel packed all week and I can't find uh, you you didn't send me your address and that on uh on the PayPal. And I'm sure I've seen a message from you somewhere and I've hunted on Instagram and Facebook Messenger and all that. And I can't find a message from you with your address. Another reason I came on. So I need you to send me a message with your address on, please. Please, mate. Um, so I can get your thing sent. I'll get it sent tomorrow then. <laughs> I oh, know it's Tam. Shh, change the subject. In a theatre watching Freddy. We'll watch back. Oh, nice. Nice. Are you talking about Freddy Mercury or Freddy Krueger? Hi, Elaine. Uh, doo -doo. Looking forward to Halloween this year. Yep. Yeah, I'm streaming. A, I'm, I've always wanted a Halloween party at, in the house. But we've not had one yet. And obviously the last couple of years you couldn't have one anyway. So that's why this is all done, getting done up. So I've got a couple more bits. Oh, well, I've got one more bit and then I've got my final pierce de resistance. So and then it's going to be amazing. I hope everyone's good. Sales been all right. Not too bad. Had a few sales. Sold a Funko Pop today. Sold a vintage uh, projector screen. Sold a plush today. Garfield plush. So, yeah, not too bad. Sorry, mate. I did mean to message. Can't remember if it was Facebook. We did chat. We did. We did chat. 
and I can't remember where it was, Mark, and I can't find no messages. Um, so if you can send it to me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, um, then I can get it sent. It's say it's all been packed up, and I've been thinking all week. Oh, hopefully I'll see Mark in a chat or something. So I did ask um, Nick Hills if he had your details, but he said he didn't have them. Um, sent out an offer in the morning. Oh, sent out an offer in the morning. I only put one, didn't put for and sold it. Oh, I even worse, it's free post. Oh, God. Um, I picked up a snake today for tenner in a little, like, odds and sod shop. Like, a, they do antiques as well in there. I picked, that's where I've got all my pub ashtrays and that. But I also picked up um, one of them horns that um, Nick had the other week. So I bought one of them for a tenner. So that's going to get listed for about 60 quid. So I got that for a tenner today. So that was quite good. Picked up a box set of Series 2. Series 2 of the A-Team as well. So that was all right. But I couldn't sleep last night. So 1am 1, 1 to 4am this morning, I was up doing eBay. And dropping prices of everything and jigging about on listings. Absolute nuts. Depends what time you look at him. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Um, well, let's jump loads. Uh, hi, Gary. Hope you're good, mate. Oh, Mercury, the legend. He is a legend. Do you know what? The, the only thing, I don't know whether how long all you guys have been with me. But the, uh, the biggest regret I ever have of something sold, I sold Freddie Mercury, the chair Freddie Mercury sat in, in the video going slightly mad. He was at the start of it, he was spinning around on the chair with the smoke going up and then it stops and he starts singing. That chair, I actually had that chair and it still had the motor underneath it and everything. I bought it from the, the guy that made it and I needed the money at, in about 2013 2014 and sold it and it went for not a lot of money let's say cheers mark it went for not a lot of money and i'm absolutely gutted because like no one's got anything you just can't get older stuff that's been actually used by queen and especially if it was sat on by freddie mercury it's seen in the video so i'm gutted i got rid of that looking forward to halloween cocktails at the local bar nice yeah, really nice. State of that place. You need to put a dust around. I know, mate, it's disgusting, isn't it? Terrible, the cobwebs and stuff. <laughs> Got to make it look good for you lot. Unless you're not too bored, I'll reach out to the bar and see how they play the game. Mm. Hi, Queenie. Hope you're good. On sale in three days for a pound. Yeah, that's not that's gutting. That's gutting. I've had, I've done I've been doing all right, and I haven't really listed loads, but all stuff. I say a couple of. If you saw my video earlier, big shout out to Dan Lark Trading. I forgot. I didn't look in there for the CDs, and I put some away because they were in the way. So I put some in here. I don't think of it as a CD storage, but. Obviously out of sight, out of mind. So, and they were in there. So I moved everything else in there, and they were in there all the time. Crazy, crazy. So they were found this week. Thank you, Dan. Just dropping by to say hello. Hi, Mr. Tammy. Hope you're good. Hope you're uh, good and having a having a good week. Maybe the money was everything that stopped you being on this week will be close at times. Yeah, I've slept in my car a few times. Hi, Porky. Picked up a Yashica T4 for a pound. Didn't realise what it was, to be honest. I wouldn't have a clue. Ah, Husty. Hello, mate. Quarter nights live, yeah. Just thought I'd jump on just before, because Andrew's coming on. Little Steve would fit in there. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm going to build it into the bar eventually once I get started on that, which hopefully will be coming up soon. I'll get cracking on with that. Get the little, get make, get making this into a little pub. So when people come round, they can come and drink and have a little mooch at all the stuff. Mm. Hi Jason, hope you're good. Um, Rich sold a treasure and Sam has lived with the regret. Yeah. Evening, Claire. T4 for a quid is an awesome purchase. Yeah, 100%. It thousands of years old, calf. I wish it was. Been let out of the naughty corner tonight. <laughs> you want an Egyptian mummy? I'd love an Egyptian mummy. I'd love a real mummy or a sarcophagus. Let's do just it said a three hundred and fifty pound offer. Nice, very nice. Everyone's in. Lisa Ladaz, hello mate. Do you still have the beer pump light? No, the beer pump light ended up going to Ireland. It went to Skilty, uh, Theo, in Ireland. Unfortunately, it was another good bit. Like me, me beer light's gone. Me uh, Sputnik lamp. Dave Keith got that one. Yeah, had some good bits. Hi, Leanne. Um, hi, Mum. Only popped on quick. Um, everyone's saying hello to me, Mum. What was that? Uh, I was going to a proper name, but couldn't spell in. Yeah, but I hope everyone's had a good week. It's been a bit of a nutty one for me. As you saw, I did jump in the sea like a lunatic. Um, the worst day it could have ever happened, which was a bit bonkers, but I said I was going to do it, so I did it. Um, yeah, just getting this place ready, say, looking for things that I've put away and I can't find. So once I get organised, it'll be a bit better. And getting ready for the old Halloween party with the backdrop. I say I've added, I've added him today. Uh, I've added the uh, snake today, whichever way it is, up there. So I've added the snake today. I've added him. Still more stuff to go. Hi, oh, Cherry. Shoulders a bit achy. Hi, oh, Jason. Someone's turned eBay off. Yeah. Um, you just got to bash it all out next week, haven't you, for payday. So just get um, get ready to take people's money for next week. Enjoy the jump in the sea, did ya? I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> My son enjoyed it. My son loved it. He couldn't stop laughing. When I was editing, I was chuckling away to myself when I was editing that in because he'd done it on his phone and sent it to me. Absolutely chucking, chuckling. You definitely, uh, you did originally say naked for the sea jump. I said I'd jump in the sea. I, I don't know whether I was going to go naked, but it was bright. I think it was brave enough just going in shorts and t shirt. I think that was very brave of me. Do you know what? I, I was absolutely, I was actually scared to do it. My heart was just beating. And I was absolutely frightened to death. Yeah, what a lovely sunny day for a dip. Yeah. Weren't it just? Um, oh, yeah, because sorry we was in that, that accident as well. Other drivers take responsibility. Jesus. Well, at least you're all right. And it's, it's only a car. Cars can be replaced. But God, yeah. What a, what a scare you must have had with that. Uh, just let you know all of the cards, including Tyson, were in there. Nice. If someone's 
laughing was great to hear. Yeah, he loved it. He thought it was highly hilarious. Yeah, a little old lady drove into Kathy's daughter, Cherry, yesterday. I was a bit worrying when that message came over, actually. Yeah, it's not good ending up in a blooming car accident. You've got to be careful. But at least you're safe. You're still you're still about, you're still here. Um and hopefully you'll all be getting ready for the uh, live tomorrow with John Brum Reseller, nonetheless. I've spoken to him today and he's still he's still fine, he's still still appearing. Halloween decks are up to wait for new Jason Forey's vans trainers to arrive. Nice. Very nice. I did used to have a signed Freddy Krueger mask. It was a well, proper David Miller one. But I sold that. I had a signed Freddy Krueger hand, so I sold that. Things you do when you need the money, eh? Went to one ages. GP said to go there. A quick check up. We'll be telling GP if it continues. Yeah, you've got to be careful of these things. You've got to be careful of these things. But, um, yeah, I hope everyone's had a good week. So it's been a bit weird down here. Sunny one minute and absolutely peeing down the next. I got soaked. But, yeah, a few little sales dripping in. So a couple of CDs. A couple of CDs. Funko Pop. A vintage projector screen, which I bought in Jay's charity shop. Three quid. Hi, Sean. Hope you're good, mate. Dropped in the cello. Mid takeaway order. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Do you like a takeaway? I've got my dinner from last night because I went to bed. I didn't feel well yesterday, so I was in I was in bed at about five o'clock in the afternoon. And then I woke up at 1 a.m. Couldn't Well, woke up about midnight, I think. I couldn't sleep. Got up at 1 a.m. And decided to come downstairs and do some eBay stuff till four in the morning. It was only low impacts, so hopefully nothing long term. That's good. That's good. And like I say, you can either get your car repaired or get another car. It's not the important thing. The important thing is you're still here. That's the main thing. But I hope you're all looking forward to tomorrow. I am. I th I am. The last one went really well. I mean, who did we, have? Oh, we had Z. That went really well. I was chuffed a bit to how that went. Um, and then it was me and Nick last week doing the auction, which I was well thankful to you guys for. Jilly's made a roast dinner tonight and cleaned the whole house. Same day as I do, I do crazy things. Same day as I do crazy things. Yeah, I've got to clean the house. I was supposed to do it today, but well, I've got all my parcels out of the way and a couple more bits sold because we've got a visit tomorrow. Um, one of my wife's friends and his wife's coming round. So we've got them coming round tomorrow. So I said I'll get the house clean because she's just mad busy at work. I've also got this. This is lovely. This is my Sweeney Todd Cutthroat Razor. Metal. But it's like the one Sweeney Todd uses in the film that. And it's sharp. Sharp as well. Sweeney Todd. Great little film if ever you've seen it. Come to mine and clean if you're bored. Yeah, I always offer people to come round and clean me out if they want if they really want to. Eh? We'll pass. <laughs> Actually, you can come round and buy my stuff if you want. Anybody? Anybody want to come round and buy my stock? Are oh, you allowed to sell that knife, Rich? No, I, I bought. I, actually, I bought it. I think I bought it off of eBay. I bought a couple of. I just like just gadgety things, but like obviously because it's film related, so it's metal. I just thought, oh yeah, I like that. And I like Sweeney Todd. So, yeah. I doubt I'd be able to sell it. I mean, the size of it looks. And it's, it's, it's sharp. It's sharpened. 
got a nice edge on it. Yeah, I love the film. I also like the Sweeney Todd um, thing that they've got at the London Dungeons as well, where you go down, you're actually walking down like Victorian cobbled streets. It's amazing. It reminded me of when I went and watched Tarzan being filmed. Everybody's heard the story. I didn't realise I was stood next to Margot Robbie. And then I only recognised her after I saw her as Harley Quinn. I recognised it was her. And um, I jumped in my mate's van and we drove around the corner from the set where they were filming the Mississippi paddle, the, 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 the paddle steamer that goes up the African River um, in Tarzan. It was filmed on a back lot in uh, Leavesden, up by Harry Potter World. And we drove, got in his van, drove around the corner, and he pulled up on a cobbled street in Victorian London. It was absolutely amazing. And then we went and got some free food at the at the wagons. I love going on film sets. Richard, Anya, and I should come round and sort your sheds out so you can find everything. You need to get big bulky stuff and TVs listed. Yeah, well, all the TVs, I'm going to test and uh, try out all the TVs. I've got VHS players over there. I've got VHS DVD combis. I've got amplifiers. I've got tuners. I've got a Yamaha amplifier next door. So all the big stuff I'm listed next week. All the stuff that's worth bigger money. All the little stuff can just hang about for a bit. But I've got like, my, got on the wrong side. I've got my Jurassic Park brochure, brochure, park brochure leaflet there. But yeah, it's... um. At least I've got quite a bit more room because I've donated a bundle of it to the um, charity shop. So it's a bit neater. Let, let me show you. But you can't say that's not neater than it was. It's much neater than what it was. Can't get the camera back now. But yeah, so it's much got much more room in here Dave for Jensen hi Dave hope you're good did a flexi at work and just thought it means I have a free weekend I did not realise hi r and hope you're good Dave the gent. Hi right, Debs, hope you're good. Manchester is great for old fashioned streets. Filmed a lot of Peaky Blinders there. Nice. All sorts left from filming, really? That's where I need to go then. I need to get up there and get some stuff. That's like in um I think it was it was either Malta or Cyprus. They left loads of um film props like arrows and weapons and all that from tr when they filmed Troy. With Brad Pitt and Eric Banner. There's loads of stuff on the beach, isn't that there left? Just props. I'd have a field day. When they filmed Gladiator down this way somewhere, I think up by Pinewood or up that way somewhere. And um they had like bundles of film props just left on the field and that. But yeah, I would uh love to do that. What about the Alec? That's just terrible. Like, I mean, you know. It happened with Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, and now now this. I mean, Alec Baldwin must be feeling absolutely gutted. If you don't know, he's a uh, film. They were using a blank weapon, blank firing weapon, on set, and something's gone wrong, and it's killed. It's killed one person and and uh, injured another, which is absolutely devastating. No laser disc. No, I've got no laser disc um, players, Sean. Sorry, mate. I wish I did. Yeah, it's it's such a shame about whatever's happened there. I don't quite know what's gone wrong. I mean, things like that shouldn't happen. When when Brandon it happened to Brandon Lee on the Crow, a bit of a bit of the old casing of the the previous bullet that was fired got jammed in the in the. Um, in the barrel so when they put another bullet in it fired that out and it was as bad as being shot by a full bullet you should see my shelves all organized and i know where stuff is yeah and i thought i knew where it was but it was only literally because 
I say, I just, I put them in there the other week and I forgot all about them. No. No, it's gutting. It just must be the worst thing. Hi, Theo. You hope you're good, mate. Yeah, not on for long now. Only on for another 10 minutes. And then uh, Andrew's doing his, doing his show, so I just thought I'd pop on quick. Um, needed to get hold of Mark and just catch up with you quickly. So make sure you're all having a good time and had a good week and having a lovely Friday. Two Jane filmed. Oh, what? Cherry Jane filmed a lot in Northern Quarter, I think. Is Cherry something to do with TV and film then, or? Oh, God, really? I said it was a live bullet. How the hell did they get that mistaken? Jesus. I think it was the NQ. NQ yeah, did a street art tour. They were talking about the bits left being beyond attached to the buildings and stuff. I would love to go around to all the old film sets and get stuff. Yeah, it's not good right, the way they, um, the papers write some of these things. It's like click, it's clickbait, isn't it? That's, the, that's what they do. Last couple of weeks for car boots. I think I hope everyone gets lucky this weekend. Yeah, um, we got visitors tomorrow and then Sunday we've got to take my stepdaughter back to Essex. So there'll be no sourcing for me. Not that I need any sourcing really anyway. Um, Northern Court is an area in Manchester City. Okay. Wow. So they do Peaky Blinders up there. That'd be quite cool. Go on a set of Peaky Blinders. I can talk like a Peaky Blinder. Yeah, I've, I've been up, up north. I haven't been to, I've been, I think I might have been to Manchester once. I've been to the surrounding areas. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Yeah, I know, Dave. I went last weekend just driving around and wanted to get out and take photos of all the art again. There's a new artwork of Squid Games that I want to see. That's massive, that thing. I've not even seen it, but I like everybody's talking about Squid Games. Everybody's talking about Squid Games. All that, like, Z and... Uh, I don't know whether Nick and Andrew were talking about it, but like the two Steves on movie chats were talking about it. My son's watched it. He said he loved it. I think everyone else in my family, apart from me and my wife, have watched it. Um, oh, that's all right. I've got, so I've got, got Mark's address now, so I can get that addressed up tonight and get that sent tomorrow. And that's it. Parcel's done. Just concentrate next week on smashing the listings. Cherry, I love doing that. I'm going to Dundee next week, so we'll be taking many photos. Yeah, it's nice to go to different areas. I mean, when when we went to, um, I mean, it's a totally different country. We went to Poland um, and did Auschwitz and did um, Schindler's Factory and all that. You can find them videos in further back. Older videos from, I think, 2018. October 2018, I think it was when we went. Um, but a lot, it was just amazing. The Jewish quarter and, say, around the around the, the, the prison camps was just, it was horrific. Um, oblivious to famous people. They shot Ted Lasso for the last couple of years in the streets around. I never noticed. Uh, they're going to do a rip-off real version for 500 requires money, but you don't die, obviously. Wow. The eBay draft is over. Just sold a piece of Woolly Rhino skull for 20 quid. Nice! Woolly Rhino. Got to love a, got to love a dinosaur bone, Stu. 
Got to love a dinosaur bone. I used to love going to um, Natural History Museum in London when I was a kid and had that massive dinosaur in the foyer and then they changed it for a while and now I don't think there's anything there now in the foyer bit. Dundee. Talking about Squid Games, not Dundee. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's talking about Squid Games. My my son's just said, "Oh, Dad, I really want a mask because he's going to uh, he's actually going to see his mum on Sunday at Cheset and World of Adventures." So he wants a mask though, and he's asking me now on a Friday night, and he's going Sunday. Um, and he was on about Squid Games one. Uh, need an inventory system. I have tubs as cheap as chips from B&Q. Yeah, I got some tubs the other week. So stuff that I've listed since I've been putting in these tubs. Um, thing is, if I, if I need the stuff, I've got to move all this lot. It's never easy. I will get sorted. I want to say I've been donating a lot of the smaller, cheaper bits back to charity, just giving it to them, which is why I've got a bit of room. Hi, Matt. Hope you're good, mate. Hi, Vinny. Hope you're good, mate. And I'm going to put the mammoth bone in a glass case. Lovely. Has it turned up yet? I, I checked uh, tracking earlier. It hadn't by then. Um, yeah, I'm good, Vinny. Hope you're good. Vinny, was it you that said you was interested in that blooming um, band of brothers, M1 Garand? I can't remember. And I did message you, but I didn't hear back. So maybe I messaged the wrong person. Uh, nice one, Steve. Been slow here today. So I sold a put an alpaca jacket to the States. Nice. Very nice. Saw that Triceratops on the news. Thought of you, Stu, was it yours? Yeah, I saw something about a Triceratops on there, but I didn't really read the whole thing or see the whole thing. But, yeah, it's all interesting stuff. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I've got a guy that makes replica um, Jurassic Park props. And I've got a claw over there somewhere, but he made um, he made my I had a Hammond cane with the the amber egg on top with the with the uh, mosquito in it, and I sold it. But when I get a bit bit of uh, bit of spare money, I'm going to get him to make me another one because that really looked nice and it'll go nice with with that. If only, Ali, I can get bits of bone and teeth, but would struggle to get a whole one. Wouldn't it be nice, though, to find that? Especially doing what you do. God, it'd be amazing to find a whole one. Just think if you found a whole dinosaur that no one's ever known about or ever discovered, and then you find it and it ends up in like the Natural History Museum in London or something, that would be amazing. I did read something, though, and I can't think... I don't know if it was you, Stu, that put it up. Someone found a bit of a, a octopus, a tentacle of an octopus or something that was millions of years old, and it's a new species, and he's donated it to going to a museum or something. Been looking out for the Aldi Halloween Squishmallows. They're going for stupid money on eBay. Really? Blimey, wouldn't fancy the shipping. Yeah, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? Just sent my dad out, Debs. <laughs> Just sent your dad out looking for him. Hi, right, Tom. I hope you're good. What are they, Aldi Squish Mellows? And they're going for money on eBay, really? Uh, just bought some Baltic Amber with insects in it, funny enough. Yeah, he actually makes it, though. He makes it from resin and put he sets the the, the things in them and everything and moulds them. It's amazing. And he do, actually does the whole cane like the bones in, the, in Jurassic Park. Really good. Seen someone have hold of a Squishmallow on Twitter, but not found any yet. I, I haven't got a clue what a Squishmallow is. I'm going to have a look now. My uncle was an actor in LA for 50 years, but I have no props from him since he passed. He was in a ton of shows. Best I still have is a handle 
full of real animation cells from the movie Akira. Oh, nice. All right, mate. Fell asleep halfway through listening. I've just woken up two hour nap. Lovely. It's not a bad thing, mate. Seven ninety nine. The Grim Reaper is going for forty eight pound. So what is this? Squishmallows. I'm having a look. Oh. Seven ninety nine. The Grim Reaper is going for forty eight. I'm gonna have a look in Aldi. I think. Aldi. Squish mallows. Oh, bloody hell, is that what they are? Jesus, someone's got four of them on eBay for 150 quid. That's crazy. Blast will go back tomorrow. Wow. And that's all they are. I haven't, do you know what, I haven't, I've done it, I, I zoom round Audi and just get on my shopping, I don't even look. Flipping hell, just squishy toy, like, sold out online. None like us. Hi Peter, hope you're good. Wow, squish mellows, that's a new thing I've just learned about, so I might pop down to Audi in a minute. <laughs> if I get any, I'll let you know. If I get any, I'll let you know. Right, guys, I'm going to finish it up now anyway because Andrew's on at eight. So thank you all for popping in with me. Just a little check-up, just a little on-spur-of-the-moment thing. Um, just have a little catch-up and a check-in with you all. Make sure you're all all right. Glad you're okay, Cherry. Dan, Lark Trading, thank you very much, mate. You helped me find those CDs. Just goes to show someone's watching the videos. Halloween Skeleton Squishmallows. I'll have a look at that. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm going to Audi now. I'm going to go and have a look. If I, if I find any, I'll let you know. I'll see you all soon. Thank you for popping in. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday and a fantastic weekend. Shopping in Audi tomorrow, we'll look for them. I'm going now. So I'm going to go and have a mooch quick. See you all again soon. Yeah, we'll be on tomorrow with John Brum reseller. Me, James, and, and uh, Brum reseller, John. So don't miss it. It's going to be nice. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fantastic. So don't miss it. All right, guys. See you later. Take care.